All right, so we're back and it heats up perfectly. So this is uh, part two. Um, I record these on a phone and somebody called right in the middle of my <laughs> recording and it uh, stopped my video. But I did, it's actually still a little warm. I did hook this up to our Variac um, heater or watt controller and uh, it, it heated right up. So this is fantastic. This is the best um, of both worlds here. And I noticed on this fitting, you guys can tell me, I've never, I've actually never seen this done like this. And with it being a forgotten 45 or 35, I'm not sure, but if you can see, it actually looks like it's been pressure fit right around the top there. It rolls in just a little bit. Um, and this is, of course, copper. You can see in there, paint's kind of flaking off of it in some places. Um, but that should be on the bottom. But maybe, for some reason, they put it on the top, or maybe they just squished it on there. I'm not sure. But it does fit right here, sitting on top of the pop-up valve. And then also underneath, um, I've seen them both ways. So you tell me, what do you think? Should it just sit on the top like that? Or would it be underneath the pop-up valve, safety valve when it's screwed in? So, but all in all, I mean, I'm just super happy with this engine. Um, yeah, so this is a very old 19, 35 a forgotten uh, 35 is what they call it um, and it was a basically a very limited production run that mr. Jensen did in the uh, 1930s with his steam engines as he was transitioning this model so this one is very nice and I'm pretty much I'm not gonna do anything to it other than just clean it up wipe it down um, it's interesting the bowler is just the copper uh, a lot in the you know back then it was expensive to get things nickel plated so um, this one doesn't appear to have ever been nickel plated so my challenge will be finding the little fittings there that also are copper and not nickel plated or another type of metal so we'll see what we can do if you got, if anybody's watching this video and you've got a sight glass this year, maybe you've got an old engine that's damaged. Um, I would like to get the appropriate sight glass to match this up and make it 100% complete. So, thanks for watching though from High Point, North Carolina. This is Steam Engines USA, and a very first look at our forgotten 35, circa mid to late. 1930s and a robin egg blue riveted copper bowler so just a wonderful addition to our collection here at steam engines usa so have a great day thanks for watching